Hello, my name is Eric Asimov. I'm the wine critic at the New York Times, and I'm here at Must Fermenting Ideas to give a talk in a few minutes about new wines made with old techniques, rejecting the modern trappings of the cellar. And I think I, I'm going to talk about essentially the last 40 years in wine history and, and trace the arc from the 1970s when modern agriculture and modern cellar techniques really began to take over and change the, the nature of the wines that we drink to the present when today the state of the art is really techniques in the vineyards and in the cellars that would have been recognizable 100 years ago. So what happened during that time and how did we persuade ourselves that modern technology was not the best way to make the best wines? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about and one of the strong influences in um, that journey, I think, is the rise of natural wines, which I understand are, are very popular in Sweden. Um, natural wine, though it's a very um, uh, small part of the market, has really had a, a, an enormous influence in, in rejecting manipulation, rejecting technology, and uh, embracing tradition, embracing indigenous grapes in regions where perhaps they were marginalized or completely discarded. And in the combination of idealism and subversive disregard for authority, I think that natural winemakers have restored local traditions to a central place in winemaking. And now in this globalized wine market, you have a very unusual combination of, of respect for what's local and a uh, global reach for these wines, which are now popular all over the world. And I'm very much looking forward to giving this talk.